Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Happy holidays and greetings to all. I am Color Me Bad Lynn, uh, popping back on to share a brief, strong like of a fragrance that's in my collection, that's been in my collection for a while. I hear very few people talking about it and so I thought I'd come on and share my thoughts about this particular fragrance and we'll also answer a few Dear Color Me questions while we're at it. So if this is your first time meeting me, greetings. I am Color Me Bad Lynn. I am a beauty professional, a licensed cosmetologist. I am also an author working on my second and third book. Uh, prayerfully, 2022 will be my year where I will be able to get my first book published and launched. So keep your fingers crossed. I'm very excited about that. And so again, I'd like to uh, come on and share this awesome fragrance and answer a couple of questions. Um, but before we get into that, again, I want to share with you uh, some of the things that we talk about on my channel that may interest you. Uh, we talk about all things beauty. So we will talk about natural skin care. We will talk a little bit about makeup. I love a beautiful lippy and a gorgeous lash. Uh, we will talk about natural skin care, how to keep that natural glow without wearing foundation. We will also talk about hair, wigs, weave, natural hair. We will also talk a little bit about love, relationships, a little bit of romance, a little bit of dating. And we'll also talk about family issues and never forget faith. All right. So if those types of to topics interest you, keep watching. The fragrance that I want to uh, come on and share with you guys is from a design house that everybody is familiar with of course I think I've talked briefly in the past about maybe one or two fragrances that are in my collection that I love uh, from this particular uh, design house I know one for sure that I absolutely love um, and so I wanted to come on and speak about one of the flankers from um, that original um, scent um, the design house that I want to come on and talk about today is Perry Ellis, and I'll show you the original uh, bottle uh, for the flanker. This is the original. Um, this one is Perry Ellis Sensual 18, so I'll bring it in a little closer. I think I've come on a couple times and shared my absolute love for this fragrance. Um, it is an extremely affordable fragrance that lasts all day long, and if you can carry this fragrance off, you can definitely count on a plethora of compliments. As you can see my dent in this particular bottle, that's how good it is. This is an amazing fragrance. Um, it's been in my collection for many years. Um, I don't wear the same fragrance every day unless it's something I'm really into for like a week or so. And I may put a couple of dents in it. Um, but for the most part, I kind of, you know, use a fragrance, move on to something else. Basically, depending on my mood, just like some people like to wear... Uh, different shoes every day some people never wear the same outfit uh, twice um, but this particular uh, fragrance I have definitely definitely enjoyed as you can see so there is a flanker to this particular scent and it is Perry Ellis 18 Orchid um, this is the bottle it's got a little fingerprints on it so let me kind of wipe her down just a little bit this is the bottle here I absolutely love the color it is very very beautiful it's just like the original OG. I'll bring it back so you can see they're exactly the same on how they're designed. It has that, I call it a dent window where you can actually see how much juice you've used of the fragrance, which I love because, you know, when you realize that you're running low and it's a fragrance that you adore, you can actually see when it's either time to ask for another bottle or place it on your wish list or if you got the coin, re order okay so again this fragrance is Perry Ellis Orchid 18 let me go over some of the notes for you I'm gonna spray a little bit on the back of my hand and I'll show you the sprayer on this I don't mind showing you I don't wear this fragrance a lot um, it is a very likable fragrance so I will start off by saying that in case there's anybody out there that absolutely adores this fragrance. I don't want to step on anybody's toes or hurt anybody's feelings, but I am going to share my honest opinion about this fragrance, okay? Um, before we get into that, as I shared 
um, at the beginning of this recording. I have a few questions that I've been sent. Um, of course, I always state at the end of my videos um, that I'm here to answer any and all questions. If I'm in my ability that I can answer, I am here to help. And so I have a couple of questions that have been sitting and waiting to be answered. And I thought I'd pop on and incorporate the answers to those questions, my thoughts and views on uh, my advice um, shared to you and the person who sent them the questionnaire. Okay, so the first question um, that was sent to me, and of course I always rewrite them so that I can read them without my glasses. Um, the first question is, Dear Color Me. Okay, so they got that part right. Dear Color Me. How do you continue to smile through life's challenges? I thought I'd come on and answer that question, especially with uh, all the things that we have gone through um, as a world, as a nation, as a country, as a people, as a whole, um, excluding gender, excluding race and nationality, excluding uh, religious and spiritual beliefs and backgrounds and a lack thereof. Um, that question is, is really um, easy for me to answer. Uh, I'm no different than anybody else in this world. I have had ups and downs, highs and lows. I know what it feels like to stretch $20 uh, for a week. And I know what it feels like to stretch twenty grand and, and make wise investments. Um, and so I thought I would come on and share um, my thoughts about that. Especially, like I said, with what we've gone through in the world. And my anchor is in the Lord. Okay? Um, I'm just going to be outright upfront with you um, with some of the things that I have been faced with and challenged with within I would say the last five to probably six or seven years without Christ in my life I would not be here to to tell you and answer these questions I'm gonna be honest um, some may say well in order to get help in life um, you know people assist you and I totally agree with that um, there have been people uh, that have come across my path that didn't know me from Adam but were inspired by the God that I serve to help me uh, whether it was a word of inspiration a word of motivation a word of encouragement um, a, a, a hand out or up um, you know I have always believed um, that God uses people. He uses us to help one another. Um, so first I give the credit to God because that's where all the credit is due to. And then the people that he uses that can hear his voice um, to help others. And just like anybody else, we all get in tough spots and rough spots in life. Uh, where we need uh, the assistance and uh, help of others. And so for that, to God, I'm grateful. And for those people who were able to hear the voice of the Lord, uh, I am very grateful as well. Um, I am in no way in a position in life uh, to flaunt or gloat or brag about anything that I've ever had or have or am lacking. Uh, because there are things that... Um, I'm dealing with just like everybody else. I'm an everyday regular person, um, just like anybody else. God is no respecter of persons. And I truly believe that even if you don't proclaim and profess um, the Lord as your savior, that he still loves us no matter what. And that is how I am able to smile uh, through uh, hard transitional times in my life and this is coming from a little girl all the way up um, I've always been an extremely uh, connected person to God uh, I can remember as young as two years old feeling the spirit the Holy Spirit um, of God guiding me and keeping me and protecting me uh, and that that's my that's my guiding force that is what keeps me sane that is what keeps me from uh, wanting to get high. That is what keeps me um, level-headed. That is what keeps me calm uh, when I should be upset. I'm not perfect. 
And so in those moments when we sometimes we all lose our cool or we get impatient, uh, we get frustrated, we get upset um, and downright angry sometimes. Um, that is my that is my guiding force. It is God. So the smile that you see is not from another human being. The glow that you see is not from another human being. Um, uh, it is definitely uh, the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit, the Lord that is within me that shines out. So that's where that comes from. It doesn't come from moisturizer, uh, a little extra sun, a little extra beam, uh, extra lighting. It is God. And so uh, thank you for your question. I could keep going on and on about God's goodness and greatness. But I thought I would come on and, and answer that question today because I get asked that question a lot. I always have, uh, and I have been through a lot of traumatic things in my life, um, like many others. And uh, that is where my strength comes from, and that is where my help comes from. It comes from the Lord. Uh, and uh, like I said, the Lord works through people to assist us, encourage us, and keep us uplifted. Um, and those are the people I like to surround myself around. It is. Um, I like positive uh, vibes. I love people who are encouragers. Uh, I don't want anybody around me that's mumbling under their breath anything outside of what God says about me. Uh, and, uh, and so that's how I operate and I maneuver in life. And uh, so definitely, definitely the smile comes from within. It comes from within. It is the spirit of God living down on the inside of me. So I just thought I'd come on and answer that. That was one of the best questions that I have been asked since I have been doing this. And I had to come on and answer that. Um, you know, uh, and so there you have it. The smile is not me. It is not me. It is the presence of the Lord and the hand, God's hand on my life is where my smile comes from and where my joy comes from and my peace and my solitude. That's That's where it comes from. And it's free and available to you as well. Okay. All right. So let's get into this fragrance and the notes uh, that are inside of this fragrance. Again, the fragrance that I want to share with you guys really, really brief um, is Perry Ellis's 18 Orchid. Okay. This fragrance's main accord. It smells really good. Like I'm enjoying this today more so than I normally do. Um, on my skin, it, it changes and turns a little weird on me. Um, but it is a floral, fruity, sweet, fresh, aquatic, citrus. It's extremely green. And that's what pops up through the florals on me. And I think that's the reason why it's kind of weird on me. It's a uh, powdery and then it's also woody. And normally this type of a fragrance I absolutely adore and will scream, holler, and shout about. Um, but for me, for some reason, um, it's not a, a falling in love type of a fragrance, but it is gorgeous nonetheless. And so I wanted to uh, come on and share this fragrance. 18 by Perry Ellis. And this is 18 Orchid. Okay. Uh, by Perry Ellis is a floral fruity fragrance for women. 18 was launched in 20. Oh, six. So this fragrance has been around for a very long time. It is not new on the market and it is definitely not new to my collection. Uh, I've had it for quite some time and sometimes when you keep fragrances for a long time and you don't store them properly, they turn rancid. This one is still smelling just as fresh as if I've bought it, you know, yesterday. So I really love that about uh, Perry Ellis's fragrances. If you store them properly, they will last you a lifetime. Your top notes of this fragrance is mojito, and I think that might be where it's, it kind of turns me off just a little bit. Um, it has raspberry and pear, which I normally love in my fragrances. The middle notes of this fragrance is water lily and orchid, and your base notes are sandalwood and vanilla. Okay, um, so something in this fragrance totally t changes on me um, on my in my body chemistry um, as I stated before I love Perry Ellis 18 sensual to the point where I need another bottle because it is so good and I mean every time I wear that fragrance I get compliments on that fragrance and it lasts forever this fragrance um, as well 
lasts pretty good its longevity is about six plus hours so you will get a great run on this fragrance now again that is on my skin how my body chemistry works and my pheromones so on you this fragrance may last even longer it just depends on um, your hormones your body chemistry and your pheromones um, this is not a love for me it's a strong like um, but this is a fragrance that if someone came over and sprayed themselves with it just to see what it smelled like and they liked it, I would probably give this away to them, especially if it smelled good on them um, because it's just sitting and I don't wear it a whole, whole lot because it's just something that doesn't work very well with my body chemistry. It smells good. It's a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. But on me, it's like it turns into... I can I get so much grassiness, so much green out of this fragrance, and the mojito um, is a striking smell. And so the combination of the mojito, um, the combination of the water lily and the sandalwood, I believe, um, just don't work that well for my body chemistry. And so this is definitely a gift away. This is something that if someone really, really uh, wanted this fragrance they will be welcome to it um, because it doesn't work that well for me I think it's the cocktail note in it the mojito um, and I also think that it is uh, possibly the sandalwood which I'm really good with any fragrance with the sandalwood note in it um, but it's lacking some things that I really really love in fragrances which is that smoothness um, it says it's a powdery fragrance but it doesn't dry down powder powdery on me at all it's very green um, and it, it is very uh, pungent and I love pungent fragrances especially when it comes to my oud fragrances but this one is not something that I love but if you love the note of mojito um, if you love raspberry if you love pear notes, which I absolutely love any fragrance with a juicy pear note in it. Um, if you love your florals like your white lily, your water lily, your orchid, if you love sandalwood and you love a vanilla note in your fragrances, I recommend that you get your nose on this because this could be something that you would absolutely adore. It smells really, really good on me, um, but something in it changes. Um, it, it doesn't mention that it has oud in it. But it does. It has a oody note in it. And normally anything with oud in it, I can rock for days and days. So um, it's something that, like I said, I strongly like this. But it's not something that I absolutely love. So this one would be a fragrance that I would definitely gift away if someone came over and decided that they said. And I said, take it. <laughs> but if you love those notes that I mentioned, you know what I always say about fragrances um, that are in my collection that I absolutely adore because I do like this fragrance a lot. I'm just not in love with it. Get you some. All right. Now, I've got one other question uh, that I wanted to come on and answer. Um, let's see which one. I've got several. I have so many of them, uh, but I try to pick ones that are really good uh, that won't cause too much controversy in the land. Um, Dear Color Me. What's your favorite cosmetic company for facial skin care? Ding, 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 ding. So I chose three that I have used that I absolutely love. Um, the first um, company that I would recommend for anybody, especially uh, anyone who has uh, melanin in their skin, um, is Clarence Cosmetics. Okay. Uh, I worked for them years and years and years ago. Um, they have amazing products. They are up there in price a bit, but everything that I've ever used from that company, including the fragrances, are absolutely amazing. Um, and you don't hear a whole, whole lot about that company, but the structure, um, the professionalism of how they train their um, cosmetic uh, reps from top to bottom is total excellence. It is a European company. Um, you hear more about it in Europe, Paris, places like that. But Clarence Cosmetic is number one in my book of, of cosmetic uh, moisturizers and cleansers that I've used uh, on my skin that actually work and that I would stand behind and, and push. Um, the second cosmetic company, which is um, a product that you can purchase in CVS, Walgreens, Walmart, 
and that is Neutrogena. Uh, I love Neutrogena. I have yet to use a product from Neutrogena that didn't work from shampoos, conditioners for the hair, facial cleansers, facial moisturizers. Neutrogena um, is amazing. So, uh, and then third on my list is Clinique. Um, and I put some in parentheses because there are some products in um, Clinique's uh, cosmetic line that I would not recommend. Um, I do know for sure that they have an amazing system for acne for men or over uh, oily skin. Um, I had to uh, get a system for clarification for my son's skin. He has extremely oily skin and is going through puberty. And I wanted to get something that wouldn't change the uh, tone of his skin, that wouldn't cause any blemishes, that wouldn't cause any burning and irritation. And they have an amazing line for acne or over sebaceous glands, which is someone who is overly or has overly oily skin. Now, the oil is a good thing, but you do want to control it and make sure that it's cleansed properly, um, sometimes twice a day. So they have an amazing line for uh, the men's line for acne skin i also love clinique's facial cleanser the soap uh, for the face i absolutely love and i love their moisturizer um, so those are some things out of the clinique line that i absolutely adore there are some things that i do not care for i don't like to use anything that burns the skin uh, because i don't think that burning means it's clean um, burning means you're that you're damaging uh, skin cells uh, and things of that nature so there are some things uh, in their cosmetic line that I don't care for but there are some that I absolutely love and I know for a fact that they work very well so again the question um, that was sent to me there the second one was dear color me what's your favorite uh, co cosmetic company for spa facial skincare my first answer was Clarence Cosmetics my second answer was Neutrogena and then my third was uh, Clinique uh, and I put some in parentheses because there are some products in the uh, Clinique uh, line that I would not recommend and or use uh, on my skin I'm all about natural skin cleansers um, natural um, cleansing um, natural skin care when it comes to that there are some things that I use that would shock you uh, for facial cleansing and um, if I do need a little bit of moisture uh, what I use for those things uh, outside of spending hundreds and hundreds and thousands of dollars. Uh, there are natural remedies that you can use that will keep the integrity of your skin and the elasticity of your skin and keep you looking youthful without spending uh, an arm and a leg for them. Okay, so I just wanted to come on and share um, that fragrance. Again, the fragrance that I shared today was Perry Ellis's 18 orchid this is a flanker of perry ellis's 18 sensual okay and i do highly recommend adding this if you are a lover of raspberry pear water lily orchid um if you don't mind a little bit of a cocktail note in your fragrance they use a little little mojito in here um and uh sandalwood and vanilla if you do love a uh floral fruity Oody fragrance you might like this um, what I did with this fragrance is I paired it with a really nice oud fragrance and that mellowed it out for me and I was able to wear it and really enjoy it and so that's what I did uh, with this fragrance and all fragrances that I have in my collection that I don't love or change up on me I'll use something with them I'll couple them with something to bring out the best in them and allow them to work properly for me so you know what I always say if you love those notes this is extremely affordable. It does last uh, six plus hours. So if you love fragrances that have great longevity and are excellent quality, I highly recommend that you add this fragrance to your collection.